Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to part four of my how to gem all four stars. Um, I think this will be the last video. I should be able to cover every single four star um, in this video after I go down this list. And yeah, that'll, that'll probably be the end of this series. I'll eventually move on to the five stars. Um, I'll actually go back and also talk about the new four star, the, the mammoth. Um, and the also the the light dark counterparts of the the new monsters. Hopefully this won't take that long. So um, last time I left off with the the Jeans, we're gonna move on to the Leos. Now this this first monster is the Fire Leo. Um, he's an attacker. He's probably one of the best fire nukers. He's got a double hunter, which makes him very very good um, as just you know straight out damage dealer. Hunter increases the critical hit damage, so in order to maximize his damage, um, you will need to try to get you know high crit rate on him. So crit, a crit rate gem is definitely recommended. You could also push him to very high crit rate without a crit rate gem as well, um, if you have the the means to do so. You know if you have like very very good gems with really really good substats. So. Um, for the Fire Leo, I think you would go with um, crit, you can go with crit rate double attack, and that will usually be like the glass cannon build. Um, you can also go crit rate HP attack if you want him to be a little bit tanky. Um, I would say Ruin is still the best set if you're trying to ma maximize his crit rate. Obviously, you're going to focus on crit rate substats a lot. You're going to go with a crit rate gem, so Ruin would definitely be the best set. Um, the second best would be Valor, and then third would be Intuition. You could also go with some defensive sets like Conviction as well. Um, if you want to build them as a Bruiser, you can also go with like a Protection set or Life set if they happen to have nice crit rate substats. If you're planning to use them for PvP and stuff. Uh, the Leos also have a nice HP lead, which is really, really nice. You can use this for, for a leader skill anywhere. Um, it's it's a global HP lead. It's not limited to any any part of the game. You can use this everywhere you go. So that's that's also very, very nice for for the Leos. Um, yeah, you can use him everywhere. He's just a straight out fire nuker that you can use for pretty much every single scenario. This is a water Leo. Um, he's mostly tanky. He's he's quite tanky. He's got pretty low defense though, um, but he does have very low recovery as well, which is really, really nice. He has high HP. He's an HP based monster and he has taunt and stun. Um, he's kind of He's pretty good for early early PvP. The taunt is actually quite annoying. It actually serves as a CC and forces people at him. The stun is also really nice because the stun can um, help stun stun people in um, early early on in PvP. So taunt and stun is definitely pretty nice on the on the water Leo. And he's also I think he's quite good for Colossus because taunt is also quite pretty good for Colossus as well. Um, if you taunt the Colossus, it basically serves as an attack down as well. It's not as good as attack down, but you can stack this with attack down to make it even better. Um, taunt forces the enemy to attack you, but it also forces them to um, lower their damage basically. So it's basically like serving, it serves as half an attack down plus a CC plus uh, it can stack with attack down, which is really nice. So, you know, if you want to, if you want to stack attack down, if you have some attack down units and you can actually throw him in with a taunt to actually further increase the the damage mitigation um, or the damage debuff. So for him, I would say full tank because he's be, he's going to be taking a lot of damage because he's going to be you know he has taunt. Um, so HP HP defense is definitely the best set. You can actually look on um, if you do the math for damage mitigation. Um, there's there is a there's actually a website. There's also a chart for um, for damage mitigation. But basically, um, you know the you know, defense has a diminishing return in this game, and the diminishing return goes, um, it, it basically doubles when you when you get past the three when you get past the three thousand point for defense. So you don't need to you don't need to stack his defense too high. But um, HP has no diminishing return because HP is just a flat amount. So if you have double HP one defense, it's usually the best for um, I would say like ninety percent of all the all the tanky monsters in the game, unless they have like very very gim stats with a uh, like with super super low hp and like extremely high defense um but i don't think there's any any tank or defender monsters in the game that actually have stats like that so 
Um, HPHP defense is probably the best, and I would say conviction is still the best because resistance is really nice. Um, if he's getting hit, you want him to resist whatever debuffs he's going to get hit with. So resistance is actually quite important as well. Uh, you want to focus on resistance substats. So HP, HP defense, conviction set is the best. You can go with protection. You can go with life as well. You can go with broken set if you have if your broken set has high um, resistance substats as well. So this is the Wood Leo. Uh, he's a very, very popular monster to run in PvP. He's also quite good for Titans because he has two very key debuffs, um, defense down and attack down. He also has a nice leader skill for HP, which is usable in both PvP and also for Titans. Um, I think you can, also, you can also use him for Colossus as well because you can, you know, defense down the Colossus. He, he also has a nice leader skill. Like the leader, the HP leader skill is like one of the best in the game. So um, you can. You can build him full tank. You can put one attack gem on him if you wanna. If you want, if you're feeling like uh, being a little bit cheesy in arena, because he often doesn't get focused because nobody likes to hit the wood Leo first. He's more of just a monster that's there to be really, really annoying. Um, if you're planning on building him full tank HP, HP defense, if you're planning on building him with um, with one slot attack, you can go with a HP attack defense as well. And that actually is pretty nice because he has he has a decent amount of attack substats. He also has really high defense, really high HP. So he has he has very very nice stat distribution. Um, conviction for PvP is definitely the best for Colossus as well. Um, if you want to resist their really annoying debuffs, the the resistance is also very very nice. So I think conviction set um, you can go with life. You can go with you can actually build them if you want to build them like half bruiser. You can go with intuition. You can go with valor as well. If you, yeah, that, I think I think you can do that as well. Some people just slap an attack gem on him um, sometimes to to make sure he does a little bit of damage. This is a light Leo. He's a light attacker with morale boost and stun. His stun is actually quite unique. It's a sixty percent chance for a two turn stun. He also has a thirty percent morale boost, um, and he's also light, so that's actually quite nice. He's he is a attack based monster so he's not going to be too good on defense i think if you if he was a tank based de monster he would be actually he would actually be super strong um he would be like an insanely strong monster for pvp defense but unfortunately he is uh he is an attacker type um on paper he's pretty nice i don't think there's really any really good practical uses for him in the game you could use him for a full light golem speed 10 team um you can use him for for farming some stages as well, you can actually just use him as a as a moral boost attacker, like to farm stuff. So that that also works as well. Um, you can also for, use him for arena offense. It's not it's not too bad, but it's it's not as good as using a, a full dark attack team. Like there's people that use light attackers for arena offense, but it um, when you get to like the highest tier of PvP, it's not as good as using a, a full dark offense. Um, so if you want to use him, you can gem him with. You can go with uh, double attack. I think double attack because he does have pretty high attack since he's an attacker. You can go with double attack HP. You can go with triple attack. You can go with uh, if you want to use him on a ruin set. You can go with crit rate double attack as well. And the double attack build you can, you can go with um, valor. I think valor is definitely pretty nice since you're going to be using him as a nuker. If you want to use him for farming, you can put him on a siphon set as well, just like triple attack or crit rate double attack. Um, Intuition also works as well if you want to go with uh, if you have some nice crit substats or some nice crit damage substats you can go with uh, you can go with intuition you can go with crit rate double attack and go with triple attack intuition as well so yeah he's he's pretty nice his variant color also looks really nice as well looks really unique. Mm. Okay, so this is the Dark Leo. Um, he is a dark attacker type. He's got he's got a very nice 100% um, defense or attack down. This is very unique. No, no. Well, there's actually I think two other monsters in the game that have 100% attack down, or maybe one monster in the game. I, I know the Water Gatito has a two turn 100% attack down. Um, I think that's it. I, I don't think anybody else has has one. And he's also dark, meaning that you can use him everywhere. He's got pretty nice stat, stat distribution. He is an attacker type, but you can also build him, build him as a bruiser for um, 
for Colossus, you can go with you can go with crit rate HP defense. You can go with crit rate attack HP. Um, you can go with attack HP defense with like some crit substats because he has dark. So you want to do you do want to take advantage of the um, of the crit damage as well. So so I would definitely recommend. I, but I think he, since he has really high base attack, um, putting one attack gem on him would would yield higher DPS than putting one crit rate gem on him. Um, but he could also go with like a, an attack gem, HP defense with like high attack substats on an intuition set. That's actually one of the better builds, and you can use him for for Titan as a DPS slash debuffer since he has a 100% attack down, which is very very nice. Um, some people some people use him on arena defense as well. He's not he's not too bad. Most most people use him for his leader skill. If they use him for arena defense, and you can also use him for Colossus. Um, Colossus is it's really nice to put attack down on Colossus as well. So he he does do that very very well, and you can also build him full tank if you want to use him as a full tank for for Titans. You can go with uh, double HP defense as well if you if you put him on a tanky team. So he's um, because he has re really nice utility. You don't have to take advantage too much of his uh, attack stat, but you can use him as a attacker, like a semi attacker. I think the best build is definitely the like my favorite build would still be the intuition um, attack HP defense with like high crit substats. All right, since this is gonna be a long video, I'm gonna have a drink. Moving on. The succubus. Um, this is a fire succubus. She works as a nuker almost everywhere. You can use her for for PvP. You can use her for um, for for uh, just farming in general. Um, she is a very very crit reliant monster. I would say try to push a hundred percent crit rate on her. Like just just try to push a hundred percent crit rate on her no matter what because both her skills are reliant on crit rate. She's not a reliable monster if her crit rate's not, not high enough. I would say uh, crit rate, you can go crit rate double attack, you can go crit rate, um, you can go crit rate attack HP as well. That also works if you plan to use her for PVP. But I think crit rate double attack should work very well because she has very, very nice um, self-sustain. Like this will heal her for quite a lot. So as long as she's not getting one shot, it will pretty much like bring her health back to full if, if you have very, very high um, you know, attack on her. You can go with um, intuition. You can go intuition is probably one of the best if you want to try to push her crit rate to 100%, and you don't have very good substats. Um, ideally, ruin is the best because she, since you're focusing on crit substats anyways, um, ruin would actually give you the highest DPS. And you can go with valor as well. Um, valor is the other set. It just basically it just has extra attack. But if you can happen to put a put together a hundred percent crit rate valor set, that also works very very well on her. Um, resistance is actually pretty nice if you can also push resistance. But it's also it's really hard to push on a hundred percent crit rate and also push resistance at the same time. I mainly use her for farming, not for PvP. So I have her with um, double attack crit rate on ruin. She doesn't have 100% crit rate, but she does have like very, very close to 100%, and I use a crit leader skill to push her to 100% crit, so so that actually works pretty well. Um, the other thing about the Succubus is they also have a nice HP lead, so that's actually quite nice. A lot of people use the Succubus, uh, not the Fire one on defense, but other Succubus on defense for their their HP lead for like Arena or, or PvP. Um, moving on, the... The water succubus. Now this is also a crit reliant monster because her her first skill um, relies on on her to crit in order to, to boost her SP. So you do want her crit rate to be very high. Um, you can go crit, and she's mostly tanky. She's mostly used on arena defense as a morale boost monster. You can go with crit rate, um, crit rate attack HP, or crit rate. Actually, no, not crit rate attack. Crit rate uh, HP defense. I think to is probably the ideal set on her. Most people would probably build her that way. You can maybe go HP HP defense if you have like super super high crit rate substats. But since she's a monster that you're using for arena defense, um, resistance is also very very important. So she, you need to push high crit and also high resistance on her, which is actually not that easy to do. So she is a very hard to gem monster. Um, but I think the crit rate is more important, 
or maybe if you can try to like if you can try definitely push to 100% crit rate um, if it's not possible then just try to get as close as possible to 100% uh, maybe just like 90% could be could possibly be good enough but yeah stat wise she's very very nice um, I, I would say most people would try to use intuition to push the 100% crit uh, with some nice resistance subs or you can go with a uh, conviction set with nice um, crit subs and then and then that might work as well because if you have a if you have a um, conviction set that will also boost her her resistance up by 20% and then you just focus on the crit rate subs and then she'll have the very very least have 40% resistance which isn't too bad but it's not like it's not like super super top tier so she's actually a pretty hard monster to gem since she needs resistance and crit rate at the same time um but yeah She's not too good for farming because her her attack stat isn't isn't too high. Um, this monster is a no. All right, she's she's just a no. Sometimes some of these monsters in the game are just no's. So this is, this is the light succubus. Um, she is a team morale booster with an adrenaline skill. Um, she doesn't have very high attack, but she's relatively tanky. I would say she's mostly just a utility monster. You just put her on your team, and she provides a, a morale boost plus a heal. Her heal is based on her max HP, so I would say stacking high HP on her is very, very important. Um, she's mo she's very, very low threat, so most of the time if you're using her on arena defense and stuff, most people won't focus her. And if you stack triple HP, she probably w wouldn't die in dungeons anyways. So I would say I, I would recommend stacking triple HP on her. Um, it's not it's not the highest effective HP, but it makes her heal heal for a lot more if you have three HP gens instead of two. And yeah, I would recommend life set as well. Just basically stack her HP as humanly high as possible. If you're using her on defense, you can use like conviction set to boost her. Uh, to boost her resistance, then you would need high resistance. If you're only using her for um, dungeons and stuff, I would say, or as a main healer for dungeons, um, just go triple HP. Just like get her HP as high as possible. Like life set triple HP with all the flat HP substats you can get. Just just stack that HP pool as high as humanly possible, and she'll do very very well. Now this is a monster that's gaining popularity recently because um, because of skill ups. She basically can get a hundred percent. Two, two turn CC on her first skill and second skill as well and yeah it's becoming quite popular a lot of people do use her on defense since she also provides the HP lead and you'll see her on like um, top 100 arena sometimes on certain teams I think it's actually quite quite useful but it's it's also hard to get the skill books for her I don't know how people are skilling her up um, I don't have that many succubus skill books either so but yeah, she has very nice stat distribution. She's quite tanky. She has nice attack stats. Her stats are very, very similar to the Wood Leo. Uh, she kind of serves as a pseudo Wood Leo with like a really, really annoying CC. And um, yeah, she's she's quite, she's quite popular now. I think full tank is definitely still the best on her. Um, you can go with HP, HP defense. Since she is dark, if you have some crit substats, that would be very, very nice. But I don't think crit rate is, is definitely... Like crit rate is a is needed on her. You basically just make her tanky and she'll provide all the utility you need. So double HP defense would be ideal. High resistance, so conviction would also be ideal. Um, if you want to make her tanky, you can go with like a life set with or a pr protection set with like high resist substats. Okay, so this is the Cupid. Um, this is a very, very nice monster for for Titans. Um, mostly used for, used for Titans. He's basically just serving as a main healer for his attack down and attack up. Um, there's two ways to build him. If you're using him on a mostly nuker team, he doesn't need to be that tanky. So you can put a recovery gem on him so he, can, he heals more. You can go recovery HP defense. Or if you're using him on a, like a more of a tanky team and or if you're using like double healers or something some people use double healers and go you can build them full tank and go with uh hp hp defense as well or if you don't keep your recovery gems you can go hp hp defense um he's basically just there for the utility i don't think gems are too important on healer monsters for titans obviously they just need to 
survive and provide the heals and that's that's their job that's that's pretty much it just survive and provi provide the heals um but yeah high resistance is definitely really nice because you don't want him to get debuffed at all especially if you're putting him on the fr first two teams um the the debuffs are quite annoying on a lot of the the titans um especially like the wood one because if you're using fire the wood titan's gonna sap the living shit out of you so resistance is also very very nice I don't know how good purification is. It, it might be good, but I, I would actually feed all the cupids into fire ones. Like I would raise multiple fire cupids before I raise a water cupid. Um, but if you're planning on using one, I would still build in the same way. You can go recovery, HP, defense, or or um, HP, HP defense. I think conviction is still the best set. Like resistance is especially important on healers because if they get stunned, if they get whatever, they can't provide their heals and it could mean your team dying. So resistance is actually the most important um, substat on healers, more important than any other monster. Resistance is uh, is is the stat you need. The the wood cupid's an early game monster. I don't recommend raising him um, like later on. Mostly just keep him at five stars and use him early on to help you get through a lot of the uh, Get through a lot of the the early on early game stages. Um, he's he's quite a good healer for for helping you with um, with B7, and you can use him for B9 as well, and you can use him for B10. But actually, if you're using him for B10, you have to six star him. I would only six star him if you have nothing better. If you really have nothing better, you use. Um, I would also not evil three him. I would eventually feed him into the fire cupid. It's mainly because his shield has no scaling. So it's always like a flat amount. It doesn't. I think it, it only. It's only like 8k or something. Um, the shields that don't scale, which is kind of bad late game. It doesn't doesn't provide that much of a shield late later on. So, um, you can use him early. You can gem him with um, attack or HP defense recovery or HP HP defense. Um, those stats are pretty good. Or if you don't keep your recovery gems at all, you can just go HP HP defense. Um, High resist, like conviction, if you can. This guy is a very, very sad monster. He's just, he's just super weird. He's got a aggression with recovery and zeal. I think the normal way to build him would definitely be to go HP defense recovery. You do want that recovery to make sure he does some damage as well. Um, he can damage and he can heal a lot at the same time. Zeal also increases SP, so that's that's actually not too bad. He, I don't think he's a bad healer. It's just that he's not as um, not as good as the Dark Cupid. So a lot of people don't really like him. Um, a lot of people don't know, but this recovery aggression actually scales twice as hard in stats versus the HP and defense aggression. So it's actually possible to build him as a full nuker if you go with like a ruin set with a double recovery crit rate. Like he'll actually hit really really hard. Um, but I don't know if if that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna work too well. He can actually hit super hard and heal a lot. It sounds super fucking troll, but um, he's a he's a really gimped monster in in my opinion. He's just super super gimped. Uh, Dark Cupid is a, like, he's, this guy's just top, top tier, like, he's, he's extremely strong, probably one of the best, if not the best, um, light dark nat 4 in the game. The, the best active heal in the game, in my opinion, as well, like, literally the, the best, the best one. Um, he's, he's got aggression with HP, so you want to stack his HP as high as possible. Uh, there's really nothing to say about this monster. There's really only one way to build him. You put him on life. You put him on triple HP. You can also put him on conviction as well if you want. If you're worried about um, if you don't have really good resistance substats. But I think like life set with like high resistance is def definitely much much more valuable. Since um, light dark healers come with 30% resistance, it's actually really really easy to boost them to uh, max resist. And he doesn't necessarily need to have like you know absolute max out resistance. So I think. 
it's much better since since he scales so well with HP, it's much better to just um, stack HP as high as possible. So just like life set as much HP self stats as possible, just boost his HP pool um, super super high, and he'll he'll be really really good. All right, so this is another healer. This is the Fire Cura. Um, she's a shield-based healer that has a shield that scales proportional proportional to her um, max level. I, I think at max level, this is around I think it's around 12k ish for the shield, and she also has a team morale boost. But she needs a crit for this to to activate. So I think early on, some people go with a uh, crit rate HP defense on her. But I think later on, if you're planning on using this monster, you can actually go with uh, just HP, HP defense with some crit substats. Or you can still go crit HP defense if you're using her in a, like maybe, maybe for, for farming and stuff. Like to, to boot, make sure your other monsters have a full SP bar. Like if you have a Siphon Farmer that doesn't do enough damage, but you need to boost the, the bar of that monster to make sure it always has a full bar every single turn. Then you can just put her on a crit rate set. Um, you can use her for arena offense as well. The the morale boost with some dark nukers like Dark Atito. Um If you look at my arena offense team, sometimes you'll see me do do some PvP fights. I didn't do it last stream, but if you look at the stream before, I run like Dark Hura. You can actually use her the same way, basically to boost up the the bar of your um, other dark nuker monsters to make sure they have like a full bar on like second or third turn so i think you can definitely do one crit rate as well um but you can go hp hp defense or hp recovery defense with like just some crit substats um i would actually still i would i could actually ignore the defense or the crit rate and go with like high uh high resistance as well it depends on you you can go intuition you can go conviction you can go you can actually slap on a crit rate gem on her if you don't need her to be that tanky. There's a there's a lot of ways to build her. All right, so this is the Water Kira. Uh, she's actually very nice for Titans. It's mainly for the attack up. The attack up can make your like courageous strike monsters hit really really hard. So a lot of people use her for that. She's also quite tanky. She doesn't have too much recovery, but she's basically just there to buff. So you just make her tanky, you go like HP, HP defense, um, and she she'll just be really tanky and keep providing the uh, the attack buff. And she also has a morale boost, which is quite nice, but it's it's not too useful in Titans um, because Titans, if you get blue soul, it basically just means full bar. So morale boost isn't isn't that good in Titans, but a lot of people just use her for her attack up and, and superior stats basically because her stats are quite nice. She's she's really tanky. Um, she doesn't have too much recovery, but you're not you're not really using her as a healer. You're using her as a as a uh, as a buffer just to just to buff your your attack. This is the Wood Cura. She's actually. She's not too good. Um, she has adrenaline res resilience. You can use her early on if you have her for maybe B7 um, and maybe B B9, but I would not really raise her past that. Like I think she can just do well enough if, as five stars, and eventually you can use her as fodder. I wouldn't evil three her. You can keep her as evil two. Um, I think her stats will be all, all right. If you just build her full tank, you can go like HP, HP defense, and. Uh, you know, with some random conviction gens that you get from like Pagos Coast, I think just she's mo mostly used like really early on. Um, afterwards, it's not really all that useful. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the Light Cura. Um, she is a she's a shock monster. She's a she's got a sixty percent two turn shock dominance is actually really nice, but it takes too long for this skill to wind up because she needs to cast it and then next turn your allies attack and then it takes effect um, because of how AI works if you're using her on defense obviously if you're using her if you're manually like using her then you can you can have her cast dominance and then attack afterwards it's 
it's mainly due to how slow the animation time of uh, the Kuros cast time is. That's 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 the main problem um, with with the Kuros and, and her buff. It takes too long for this to to wind up. But a lot of people use her on defense mainly because of the high resistance. How she's she's a light healer, so she has high like she has a base thirty percent resist, and they just use her on defense mostly as a tank and for her shock. So they go like HP HP defense. Um, as much resistance as possible so conviction is definitely recommended and yeah she's just she's just there to be annoying and just there to shock people man they they added way too many colors on that on that variant color it, it looked it looked pretty ugly to be to be perfectly honest all right this is the this is a dark hero um i also regret making her a variant her non-variant color looks really really nice i just don't like her variant hair color I like her variant, variant um, clothes color, like dress color, but I don't like her variant hair color. But yeah, this is uh, this is my favorite monster in the game. Um, I got her very very early on. I use her for my my like my best arena offense team. I go with Dark Cupid, Dark Kira, two Dark Gatitos. That team almost never loses, and it's it's really really stable. Um, as I explained earlier, she has she's basically there to morale boost the to, to morale boost your allies she also has a morale boost buff so when she casts this and then your your team nukes um they also get a lot of boost souls back it's basically like having a siphon siphon set on uh when she casts this this, this skill so there's uh there's a lot of ways to use her if you want to use her as a healer you can go the standard route go hp hp defense or hp recovery defense she has very low base recovery but the special thing about her is she is the healer um with the highest attack stat in the game um so the way i actually use her for arena offense is i have her on a valor set with double attack hp and uh she provides a little bit of damage at the same time she's there to support and boost bars um so she can she can kind of finish off whoever my Gatitos don't finish off with her with her damage, and when she, like, and then, um, yeah, she's just there there to support really. Um, she doesn't have that many offensive uses, but she has a very very nice um, bar boost, a team a good team bar boost. And the other thing is she's a dark type monster, so if they have light type monster, it basically splits up the chance of your your dark nukers getting hit. So having a dark bar booster. Um, is very very nice. That's why I like to keep her. The other reason is she's she's a healer, and there were a lot of times where I actually had her on with the with my Dark Cupid, and we like we would like two v three, two v four a lot of the enemy teams after uh, my Gatito like through some very very bad RNG dies. So that's also one of the other uses of of her. She she's quite nice on arena offense. I, I really like using her. All right, this is the fire Nike. Um, I think with the change to taunt, she actually might be usable in Colossus, but her taunt is based on crit rate. The other thing is she's also really tanky, so she can afford to go with that one crit rate gem. I think crit rate HP defense would be really nice on her. Um, it's probably the only way to build her because her crit, her taunt is reliant on crit, so you need to make sure she has high, high crit for the taunt to work. At the same time, she's not really us usable anywhere else. So I think um, I think resistance set is still best for all tanks, especially taunters. Resist whatever debuffs that you get hit with. So conviction is probably still the best set. Conviction is probably the best set in the game um, for anything that is like bruisery or tanky or anything like that. Um, sometimes it's also good on attackers as well. Even nukers, conviction could work. This is a water Nike. She's a, she's one of the better water nukers. She's also got two defense downs, 60% each. Um, a very nice offensive monster. The Nikes also have attack lead, which is very nice for her. So she can actually provide the attack lead as well as being a nuker herself. Um, you can go triple attack. You can go crit rate, double attack, ruin. You can go um, attack HP or at double attack HP. Um, you can go attack, crit rate, HP, ruin. That also works as well. You can go with uh, conviction or valor set if you if you want to use her. 
Um, she's mostly for for farming stages. Some people use her for like Golem's B10 as a nuker, armor breaker. Um, some people use her for Titans as an attacker slash armor breaker. That's actually pretty nice for her as well. She has a pretty nice use. This monster is just just no like her her stun rate's way 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 too low. Um, she's she's not just not a viable monster. She's not worth using, worth gemming up. All right, this is the Light Victoria. There's really only one way to gem her. She is a defense aggressor. There's actually two ways to gem defense aggressors. If you want like highest effective HP, like you want to bait people in PvP, and to like not die in one turn, you can go with double defense HP. That actually gives gives you higher effective HP, but she won't do as much damage. But the the, the general way to build defense aggressors is to go tri triple defense. Um, this way, she's tanky and and also does a lot of damage at the same time. Um, yeah, she's a light aggressor. She has nice base crit rate. Her resistance is quite low since she is light. They start with 0% resistance. Conviction set would be really nice. Um, protection set with high resist would be would be best. That would actually get her the highest damage. I think protection set does gives you higher overall damage than intuition as well. Um, but if you have good defense gems with on an intuition set, you can go with intuitions as well. If you have Three defense gems with really high crit rate subs, you can put her on a ruin set, and that will give you the highest um, amount of damage with her. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can go siphon set. She's a very nice uh, unit to put on triple defense siphon set as well. You can also use her on leech as well. If you have a triple defense leech set, it actually works pretty nice. All right, this is a monster I use a lot in in uh when I'm doing dragons and as well as doing uh um, Tower of Chaos. She's very very ni nice for her stun. Um, the stun is really nice because the Tower of Chaos bosses are stunnable. In Dragons B10, I use the stunner strategy. If you take a look at any of my streams, you'll know how I do Dragons B10, and um, I have them archived on my channel. You'll you'll find them somewhere. Uh, but she needs crit rate for her stun, so 100% crit. To make her reliable, I would say 100% crit is very, very important on this monster, especially if you're using her for Dragon Speed 10. Basically, boost to, boost her crit rate to 100%, and you can go with uh, crit rate. If you're using her for Dragons and you want her to survive one hit from the Light Purse on on the first stage, you will need to put either an HP or Defense gem on her. So you can go crit rate HP attack, or you can go um, crit rate Defense attack. If you're using her for just TLC, um, and you're running like a nuker comp, you can go with double attack crit rate. Um, on intuition, if you have to, Ruin would be the best, um, but it's also very hard to get 100% crit on Ruin. And Valor would also be pretty nice as well. So if you can get a Valor set, that actually could increase her damage a little bit. Um, Resistance isn't too important, because in TLC or in Dragons, resistance doesn't matter too much. If she gets hit, she gets one shot anyways. Um, so, resistance doesn't matter all too much. Some people use her on Arena Defense, but personally, I think her stat distribution is, is too poor for, for her, her to be considered for, um, for PvP Defense. Okay, where are we? We're almost done, actually. This is the, the the Fire Banshee. She is a no. She's just no. Um, moving on. Water Banshee. She's got a 60% sap. But I would take a Water Miho over her any day. So she's also a no. Wood Banshee is an attacker with morale boost and armor break. Um, the Banshees also have skill ups, so that's actually quite nice as well. You can gem her full glass cannon, you can gem her bruiser. I think either full glass cannon or, or bruiser build. Um, or attacker. I, I wouldn't gem her bruiser, I would gem her... 
Actually, you can gem her Boozer as well, because she's not crit reliant. You can go with uh, triple attack if you're planning on building her full glass cannon. You can go with crit rate double attack ruin. Um, you can go with uh, crit rate, or not crit rate, uh, attack, attack HP. You can go with attack HP defense if you want to go make her t that tanky. Some people use her for arena defense. Um, I would gem her attack HP defense. I would actually even gem her full tank if you're if you're using her for arena defense and using her for her leader skill. Because some some people use her just for her leader skill. Um, I would gem her full tanky if you're if you're planning on using her for arena defense because she's gonna get focused. Like everyone's gonna hit her first, so you can kind of make a cheesy build where people try to hit her first, but she's actually the one that's gemmed the most tanky, and then your other units are the ones doing damage. So that that actually could work as well. Um, Conviction for PvP, um, Ruin for crit rate build, Valor for attacker, or Valor or Intuition for attacker build. I think Val Valor has higher DPS, but Intuition, if you have some nice uh, nice crit subs, would, would be nice as well. Alright, Light Banshee is actually really, really nice if you skill her up. Um, I think it becomes like an 80% two-turn shock. Or something and then her saps also already really nice it's a hundred percent two turn two sap so she's a very very nice monster to use for golden's b10 as a sapper if you can actually if you're using like a full light team she's too tanky to be a solo tank in golden's b10 but if you're using her um with other light units she can actually survive so you can go with uh you can go with i think hp crit rate defense could work could boost her attack quite high because her base attack is actually very very low so the, the crit rate actually might give her higher dps you can go hp attack defense as well um if your other light units if you're planning on using like a full light team if you're planning on using her to tank with another light unit like a dual tank light team I, you can go hp hp defense i think that would be the best like put two light units to tank and then some other non-light units um, in your golden speed 10 team i think she's mostly used for golden speed 10 because sap is a very very good strategy for golden speed 10. she also has a nice um, defense lead if you want to use the defense lead but most be most of the time i would i would say it's not necessarily needed um, if you need her to be that tanky you can just gem her with like hp hp defense and your like an offensively like attack lead or something might be better for your other nukers This is a pretty sad monster, but her 100% sap and her being like dark element and also tanky might work well for like TLC 455. But that's it, like she has no other use, really. You can kind of use her for Golden Speed 10, but she's also a tank type, so she doesn't do too much damage. And she's not going to get focused if you have some light monsters. Um, I would say she's only usable if you're running Golden Speed 10 without any light monsters, but that's probably like most people wouldn't be doing that because they at least give you like a free light nike so a lot of people are at least running that um for golden speed 10. so she she doesn't have too many practical uses but you can gem her for um for toc 455. i don't think she needs to be that tanky you can just go like crit rate hp defense i think that would be good enough and so she can like do a little bit of damage when you're clearing through the waves because honestly even if you gem her with one one more slot attack, it doesn't even matter because the the mobs in 55 don't really do that much damage. Um, all right, we are at the end of the list. This is the Hana. Um, the Fire Hana is a yeah. She's she's a no. She's just like 40 percent sleep. No. This is a monster I actually got or actually built because there was an event earlier that um, basically you had to catch these uh, these uh, these water snowies and fuse them into your evil 2 water hana and it gives you a free evil 3 water hana and that's why I have one of these. But I would say she's not really worth building over the wood one. The wood one is much much better. But if you really want to build her um, for, for her sap, I don't know why you would need her sap. Um, I think just HP defense recovery is probably the best build. You can go HP HP defense as well. Her base recovery is already very very high. Um, 
but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like, there's there's really no no other way to build these uh these random healers. The the wood Hana is very very nice. She's one of the best monsters for um for titans. She's got an attack down and also a, a three turn defense defense up, which is really really nice. It makes her teams like super super tanky. So it's basically. You can gem her with uh, HP defense recovery, you can go with HP HP defense. You want to have as much resistance as, as on her as possible, so conviction would be the best. Or just anything with high um, resistance substats, I would say, is, is very, very nice. The Light Hana is basically a light version of the Dark Cupid. You would gem her the same way. But she has slightly inferior stats. Um, but the good thing about the Light Hana is actually she's stronger on a full light team. If you're planning on building like a full light arena defense, she's one of the best monsters to have on as one of those monsters because um, the you know the the light aggression will actually help her do some damage against the dark nukers that they're running against. That's one of the reasons why people run like a full light team. I would still say stack HP as high as possible. Um, her base base uh the base resistance of all light dark healers are 30 percent it starts with 30 percent so um resistance is actually not as important because you can get her you can still get her resistance still up really really high even without too much effort so i would say just have her on a life set it would be the best have her on uh triple hp and with as much HP substats as possible, just boost her HP as, as high as humanly possible because she'll do more damage and have a thicker shield um, with more HP. Alright, so this is a Dark Hana. Uh, she's also a shield healer. I would actually just treat her as a normal healer. You can go HP, defense, recovery. You can go HP, HP, defense. Um, high resist. I don't really see her having too much use. You could use her in Titans because she at least has a shield, but that's pretty much it. Um, the other benefit is she is a dark healer, so she has 10% more resist. So that's actually pretty good. Actually, that that just that fact alone might make her better than a lot of other um, a lot of other monsters to use. Just that fact alone. All right, we are <coughs> we are at the end of the list. Um, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna review the new new monster because I, I never covered this one, so I'll talk about this and also talk about the light dark counterparts of some of the new three star monsters and how how I would gem them. Okay, so this is a this is a fire taunt monster with adrenaline, so a pretty nice heal. Um, you can use her. You can use them for arena defense. You can use them for Colossus, I think, I think this taunt monsters are mostly for Colossus. Um, since he is a taunt monster, you want to gem him as tanky as possible. Double HP defense, conviction, pretty straightforward. Um, protection, life also works. Just make sure he's really tanky, high resist. This is a double hunter water nuker. Um, crit rate is, he's a crit reliant monster because of the, the, the hunter skill. So you definitely want a crit rate gem on him. Um, if you want to build him full glass cannon, basically any way you build the fire leo, you could build this monster. So it's either crit rate double attack, crit rate attack defense, or, or crit rate attack uh, HP, or crit rate. Um, I think that's it. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> crit rate attack HP or crit rate double attack. Um, I do like the full glass cannon build. Makes him a really really nice water nuker. Um, Ruin set would be definitely be the best if you can. If not, um, Intuition. If not that, or if not Valor, if not um, Intuition, yeah. So this monster is actually quite unique. Um, I do actually want to build one of these. He basically has a heal that heals for allies HP by 10%. And he has an armor break, which is really, really nice. So every turn he's healing for the allies max HP. He's also very, very tanky. And he's, he's quite annoying. 
Um, I would say he's a pretty annoying monster to put on arena defense. You can go with HP. You can go with HP, HP defense. You can go HP. Um, yeah, HP, HP defense. And there's there's pretty much no other way. His attack stat is actually way too low for it to be considered to build like a to put an attack gem on him. Basically, just make him as tanky as possible. And he has no other job besides providing utility for allies healing. Um, this doesn't heal for 10% of his HP, it heals for 10% of allies HP. So the allies max HP if you're like running a full triple HP um, light, or, or not light, um, like a triple HP aggressor monster like Dark Cupid or something, it's going to be healing for a shit ton. So that's actually quite nice. Um, I think this guy's definitely going to be meta in the future. I definitely do want to build one for arena defense. It's going to be quite insane. I don't even know if this guy's attainable. But he has an attack down in blind. Um, mostly a titan spawn. There's two ways to build him. You can build him full tanky. You can give him... Uh... Wait, what are his stats? His stats are balanced. But he's mostly tanky, so I would actually just build him tanky. You can just go HP, HP, um, defense with lots of resist because he is light. So try to get as much resist, try to put him on conviction, try to get all those resist substats to push, push it as high as possible. That's pretty much the only way. The Dark, um, the dark Mammoth is a Adrenaline Vengeance monster. He's also an attacker. He's a dark attacker, so I think crit rate... Since he does have the Vengeance passive, you do want him to survive. So maybe crit rate attack HP could be nice. Um, crit rate double attack could also work as well. I'm not sure how much damage... It depends on what you're fighting against. He does have a very nice HP pool, so... Um, you know, putting one HP gem on him isn't too bad. Like, crit rate attack HP could be pretty nice. Since he is dark, the crit rate is um, will help. Because dark monsters have that nice 100% crit damage. But I have no idea if this monster is even obtainable yet. So that's it for the mammoths. Uh, we also have some new light dark monsters that were just added into the game. The This thing. Um, I don't think this is obtainable. So I won't I won't talk about it in this video. But I'll talk about the the raditz and the, the yeti, yeti. And the wendigo. Um... And the lat. The lat probably is going to be for rebirth next month. So this is a shock defense down monster. Um, unfortunately, his stat distribution is very, very poor. Or else he would be like the, the light Thor. But his shock only lasts for one turn. Um, but his defense down is an 80%. So that's actually not too bad. Plus he gets skill ups, which could be, could be pretty nice. Um, if you want to use him, I would probably for arena defense, I would gem him like full tanky. And put some nice resist on him since he is light. He doesn't have any base resist. So you can go HP, HP defense. Um, conviction, probably the best. I think there's also a Dark Lat. The Dark Lat is a nuker monster, a hunter monster. Um, with adrenaline on first skill. So he's a self-sustaining nuker monster. Uh, if you want to build him for farming, I would say just build him full glass cannon crit rate double attack and if you're planning on maybe using him for pvp you can go with crit rate hp attack ruins the best set if not valor if not intuition um you can also go broken set if you have nice crit substats with a broken set as well this thing i don't think is obtainable yet but damn I really, I really want one of these. They're super cute, especially the variant. Like, look at this. It looks so fucking sweet. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. It's a double hunter monster, so pretty much, like, I don't think there's too much to say. It's a double hunter monster, so crit rate, double attack, crit rate, HP attack, ruin, valor, intuition. Dark One's got Attack Down and Adrenaline. Um, also super tanky, like extremely tanky. 
I'd say triple HP, because he, he's not going to get focus anyways, because he's not, like, nobody's going to hit him. If you're planning on using him for arena defense, you can use him for, for titans, for the attack down, but the adrenaline is kind of useless against titans, so I, he's kind of a gimp monster, to be honest. Like, there's no, there's no practical use for this monster, it's just, it's super gimped. Because he has one skill that's really good for, like, PvP, but he has another skill that's really good for titans. I would actually still probably use him for PvP, so I would just gem him with, like, uh... Life set, triple HP, as much HP as possible. Uh, this is a light Wendigo. Courageous Strike monster, balance type, or no, he's attacker type. Um, but even if he's attacker type, most Courageous Strike monsters do better with like um, attack HP defense, just to survive long enough to do as many hits as possible. He also has an attack down, which is also very good for Titans. This is definitely a top, top tier monster if you can manage to get him. Um, I think he's only summonable from like Dark Eggs. You, yeah, just with lots of resist. So there's a lot of sets you can put him on. You can go like Valor, um, Intuition, you can go Conviction for, for the resist. You can go Life. Um, or protection as well because he needs all those stats basically to, to do well it depends on your sub stats basically so this is also another vengeance monster but he has vengeance and adrenaline that um, can heal as well so I think HP is definitely pretty nice but at the same time he needs some decent attack and he's also dark so crit rate is also nice so I would say the best way to gem this monster would be to go with crit rate HP attack um on yeah just with, like with lots of crit because he is he is a dark monster um so i would actually just gem him, him as like a mostly as an attacker so like crit rate attack hp would be very very nice all right this is a light radis um he's a double sapper i think if you get him he's very very nice if you're running a full light team for golem speed 10 uh, since he's balance type, you can actually build him as a balance. You can go HP attack defense. You can even go HP double attack as well, depending on the other units that you're running. If you have some like siphon sets on them, um, they don't need to be that tanky because you're going to be clearing the wave super, super fast. And it depends on the, the other units. If you're not in, at any risk of failing the stage, if, if one of your units die, then you can go double attack HP. If you're afraid of one of your units dying, go with HP attack defense. Um, mostly an attacker stat, stat or attack, attacker set. Resistance isn't too important because Golden Speed 10 um, resistance isn't that that all that important. Um, so for the sets, I would say you know Valor, Intuition, Protection, Life, something like that. Alright, so this guy's got stun and aggression. He's also a dark monster. Unfortunately, his stat distribution isn't too good. Um, it, he is a defender type, but it gave him a lot of attack, which is a lot of wasted stats in my opinion. Although his first skill doesn't skill with uh, aggression, so that, that actually wouldn't matter too much. Um, since he is dark, you can go crit rate, double defense. You could also, if you want high effective HP, you can go crit rate attack, or crit rate HP defense. I would probably not put an attack gem on him. It's kind of wasted because the aggression has no scaling with attack. So he would be squishier and also would not do as much damage with his AoE. So um, the only reason if I would ever put an attack gem on him is if I put him on a siphon set and I want him to have his aggression up or his aggression thing up sooner. But I think even then it would still be too much of a sacrifice. So I think crit rate double defense is probably the only way. You could go triple defense, but it's not. I don't think it's, it's as as good because it's not as a uh, as high in damage. So this is this is Light Yeti with a morale boost and uh, shock. I think it's, I think she's really really nice. She has very nice stats as well, really tanky stats with a decent amount of attack, very low recovery, very very nice stat distribution. Um, I think she's mostly for arena defense, a very nice arena defense mon. Um, very good monster to put on Pugilist if you can. But I think if you don't put her on Pugilist, like Conviction would be really nice as well. Just make her tanky and high resist. 
So HP HP defense conviction would probably be the best. Um, if 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 not that, you can put them on put on pugilist as well with like HP um, HP HP defense pugilist. That would be really insane. She would be super annoying if you if you have her on pugilist set. This this monster has an eighty percent um, stun and seal. I think she's quite decent for mid mid tier PVP defense or offense because they don't have too much resistance. Um, she can be quite annoying. Basically, gem her somewhat tanky. You can gem her with a bruiser build with a uh, crit rate HP defense, or you can gem her with a uh, like full tank like HP HP defense. That that could also work as well. Um, since she's mostly for PvP, resistance is quite important, so high resist, conviction would be would probably be the best. Um, but she, since she's dark dark type, if you want some DPS with the crit rate build, you can go intuition set. That that could also work as well. But yeah, that is uh that is pretty much it. That is all the four stars in the game that are currently in the game right now. And this is um I think this is part four. And this is the last part, this is the final part. So that is the end of it, and it's it's been exactly an hour. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll eventually, depending on the needs of the viewers, or depending on your feedback, I can continue this series for five stars and usable like three stars. I won't go through all the three stars, but I'll go through the ones that are that I would consider um, usable, really. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.